This is Mrs. Wan, and she was my very first piano teacher when I was six years old. And she's been the first person that's really introduced me to music and made me love music as much as I do now. So I just want to say thank you <laughs> for all that you've done. And also um, because I feel like your method, your way of teaching was so different from most other teachers. And it was really holistic in a way. You brought in music theory, sight reading, we were playing duets together, we did group piano lessons. You know, we were learning all the keys like right off the bat. So can you just talk a little about your background in music and your upbringing and how you became a piano teacher? Well, for one thing, I only had two years of piano when I was a child. Wow. The rest of my uh, learning was as an adult, starting in college. Mm -hmm. And I was fortunate enough to come across this program by Dr. Robert Pace, who was at Columbia University. And he had developed this, like the programs that were used by the early musicians in Europe. And they did not just go C and then G and that way, mm -hmm. but they learned all the different scales right from the beginning. But they learned the first five notes first. One, two, three, four, five, or do we need also? And they had to be able to do that in all keys, which it was the grounding for going into all keys right away. And it works. Plus, they thought that if they had a partner, they would be more stimulated to learn and be ready with, with more practicing. So he, his program is very dynamic in that the, they learn to play in front of people right away. So they don't have a chance to that once a year recital mm -hmm. of this guarantee that. Mm -hmm. And there's so many good things in it. And I took the training for that. And the rest is, you know, it just has to be believed that there is better method than the middle C approach. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I remember the recitals were every six weeks, so as you constantly were preparing pieces uh, to perform, because yeah, when someone only performs once once a year, it's that's when they get scared. So it's the more they can do it and get in front of people. Yes. The more it just becomes. From the start. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. They don't fear big up. They grow up thinking, "Ooh, this is scary." <laughs> <laughs> And plus, um, they were able to learn more things faster because they had two lessons a week. One with a partner and one with a co-class that was at the same place in the, in the program. And so they had experience. You could do a lot more when you have two lessons a week. Mm -hmm. Right, we had, uh, one was the lesson, and then one was more of the... Same level people group. in the classroom. Group. Well, you could play games and do things, drills, with the writing on the blackboard and things like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right, I remember writing on the blackboards over here, writing out the different chords, um, key signatures, and stuff mm -hmm. like that. We did flashcards. We did the tic-tac-toe yeah. game. Yeah. Um, and so I think, yeah, having a group kind of made it more kind of, 
you wanted to be on top of things because it was kind of <laughs> we were in competition with each other. I think also fun. It was fun yes. too, yeah, yeah. And, and you were able to give more inexpensive lessons because you had more students automatically. Right, right. And you didn't have to charge so much as most of the teachers did in the area. Right, right, yeah, one-on-one -on -one versus a group, having a group, um, so, yeah. And I've done that with having two students two young students where I've taught group lessons with two yes. students yeah. and they did seem to progress faster. Yes. Um, so, yeah. So they wouldn't let their partner beat them at doing something well. <laughs> right. They wanted it. It was a challenge all the time and that, that's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. And you also did the group singing as well. Yes. Well, I did. I taught, taught voice also. So they, and they learned to sing correctly, even if they were just not intending to be that. We, we did singing as well. So they learned the do re mi mm -hmm. Yeah, because I remember singing in a group with four other of my swim team friends and then going to the big, big festival. the big festival, and that was a lot of fun. It was uh, yes. seeing with a huge group, probably a few hundred people, yes. in a giant church. Yes, they got a chance for, to experience other things uh, that they would not have uh, with a private teacher. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then most of the students, uh, when did you start teaching yourself? When was the first time that... Actually, my first student was when I was still in, in graduate school. And one of the professors asked if I'd take on his child. And that was my first experience. And then other teachers in the school also asked if I would and get their start, students started in final piano. And for all of the ones that I worked with, they, I experienced that piano teaches them more quickly as far as giving the most fundamental things about music rather than uh, trumpet or whatever. Which they only learn that instrument. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a broader program. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I know that learning piano helped me learn other instruments as well. It helped yes. me with, with singing, it helped me with learning guitar. Um, when I did marimba in middle school, it was like everything was kind of a lot easier. Yes, because you can transfer what, what you learned in piano. To the mm -hmm. other things, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and and since they learn to to transpose things into other keys, as well as the one that's written on the music, they were able to do that with the other instruments so easier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think she also does it up with the percussion. Huh? Percussion. We did stuff with percussion as well. Yes. And we use other instruments um, to accompany mm -hmm. the, the students in many cases, drums, maracas, yeah. anything mm -hmm. that fit. Huh? Yeah, mm -hmm. I remember that. Yeah, we remember you were at uh, high school, you did that, right? Mm -hmm. Also at yeah. DC, you did that. And... This was the best investment when we had my piano studio to our house. Yeah. Yes. And it's been used and used and used. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yes, it's still nice. being used. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even though I'm not presently teaching anyone except um, you know, a little bit of idea for, for people who have never had a chance to play piano. Mm -hmm. I give them some fundamental things so they can feel like, oh, I didn't get to do that when I was a kid. <laughs> yes. And so this room has been used and used and used. Yeah. And it was a 
best investment. <laughs> and then I found out all the best teaching. Mm, yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. And my husband also is musical. Got a beautiful voice. And oh, does he? So, oh, yes. Mm. He loves classical music. Yes. Mm -hmm. This He's not in from the jazz stuff. Mm -hmm. so. And so when you were teaching, how would you kind of handle the different ways that people would learn? Would some people be easier to teach than others? And how did you kind of keep everyone kind of on the same page? With yes. the group? Well, I think that to match, you have to match the partners so they work well together. Um, and I tried not to take brothers and sisters oh. together because they don't have the same stimulus. <laughs> as I remember that. Yeah. You said for Leanne yes. and her. No. And so I had to come back <laughs> four times. The, the, four times, yes. Yes. Um. Yes, it, it uh, makes more trips for the parents. Yeah, I remember now. <laughs> they, 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 they just get more out of it. If they have a different person as a partner. Yeah. Yeah. Than a sibling. Yeah. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I remember also playing at the retirement homes too. That was a big deal. Yes. Starting early. The more you can get them to out and share what they learned, and it's very much appreciated, especially yeah. in the uh, nursing homes mm -hmm. and the assistant living people. And I still have students that tell me that they're they're grown up, they have their own families, but they still go play for things. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. they share what they know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I yeah. think that's very important. Yeah. Over the years, how many students do you have approximately? All together. All together. I don't think I can count them. A few hundred. Oh, well, well over a hundred. I had 50 alone in Oakland. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yes. When I was at that church there, plus I'd come home and still yeah. a couple days here. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, and most teachers that were teaching the Pace Method had the same kind of um, response by the community. Mm-hmm. And then did you separate the younger students from the adult students, or did you combine everyone together? Uh, if a, an adult is willing to, you know, be with kids, I can even take them in a class. Okay. But uh, mm -hmm. usually I try to take them in pairs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah they have to find someone to, to be a pair with them. If no one is already on the waiting list. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Right. Okay. I wasn't shy of students. I mm -hmm. had plenty of them. But right, right, yeah. right, right. It's a matter of scheduling. Yeah. And still carry a church job. And <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. You're one busy lady. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And besides that, I was in other things such as the Marching Handbook Choir, which I did for 25 years. Oh, wow. And I had artificial hips, both of them. Yeah. And still was able to march. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh. I was fine until I had my first fall. Oh. <laughs> I remember years ago, you told me you walked two miles every day, right? Before you had the hip yes. replacement. Mm -hmm. So you walk on the trails. Right? Yes. Wow. So, I am in my 80s, and though I'm not teaching regularly, a teacher never stops teaching. <laughs> yeah. There's always something new to learn. Yeah. Right, right. Yes. Do you still want to teach? Oh, I. it just comes natural. It comes natural? Yes. 
every one of my caregivers have been learning piano. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. <laughs> they picked up the basics. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I teach them on a pillow. <laughs> <laughs> I have a pillowcases that have, have the keys that have the keyboard on. Oh. Yeah. So I can sit and show them um, that. Yeah. I have arthritis in my hands. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I can't play myself. Yeah. Anymore. Maybe you could get a little keyboard, just a kind of small one. <laughs> then you can play a little. Do you think? Well, I'm just not worried about it. They come in the studio. Mm -hmm. I sit outside. Yeah. And they come in and practice. Oh, okay. So I listen to their practices. Oh, okay. And, yeah. and then gradually add new things, showing them what it looks like on my pillow. Oh, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Maybe I should come here to the to you to learn piano. <laughs> and then they come in, and if they have some extra time, I say, go practice. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Yeah. You know, uh, I think you, the fingers mm -hmm. and my kind of connected, mm -hmm. when you constantly move your finger, mm -hmm. they're going to stimulate mm -hmm. your brain. Mm -hmm. You know, and so that's, yeah. that's a good thing. Yeah. 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 And I remember um, going back to the group piano lessons, uh, Tiffany, I ran into Tiffany. She was my partner back in the day. Yeah. And yeah, I think we took lessons for a good however many years. Long time until. Uh, okay. At least about eight years. Eight years, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. About eight. Okay. Or at least, or oh, oh, probably more. Right. And I always took took lessons over the summer as well. Oh, okay. all year round. I remember you had a worksheet, and it was every yes. time you complete something, you get a certain number of. Um, have a little oh. sticker. Points? Yeah. No, it was like added up points. Uh -huh. And then you would give us a gift certificate at the end. Yeah. Yes. Uh, that we could go buy more music. Uh -huh. yeah, yes. I, was, I always wanted to get as much, as many points from yeah. that. Yes. <laughs> so. Yes. Yeah. so that because summer, they lose a lot if they don't yeah. work at it. Yeah. Still. Yeah, I think she worked all year round. She took lessons from mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, They had the summer assignment sheet to mm -hmm. do as much as they could get done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that included learning new music on their own. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> they were already teaching themselves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I definitely have shaped a lot of my teachings from what my what you taught me. I feel like I want to do more of the Robert. I always have to um, supplement the teaching because I feel like no matter which method book I use, uh -huh. they're always gonna, you know, stay on middle C, C major for a really long time, not get to G major until level one or two. So I have to kind of start them early, you know, five finger positions. But just getting familiar with it, there's, you know, 12 keys or 15 keys if you want to do all the enharmonics. But just getting them used to not thinking always in C major. Just, yeah. you know, how do you, because um, mm -hmm. it's harder to think in like G flat major, you know, A flat, B major. So it's, but if you keep them in C major, there, it's going to be a handicap that's going to be stuck there. <laughs> They're not going to want to leave that key. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Well, they, we didn't even start with that. Just, we started with the black dots, didn't we? Right, yeah, yeah, the groups of threes and the groups of twos. Yeah. And uh, I looked at the Robert Peace books, but they've been modified because of his daughter changed it so it's more like the other books. But I feel like a lot of the method books are watered down. You know, they, it's like kids these days don't want to do what they don't want to do. Yeah. <laughs> they, they become... Tell me about it. <laughs> So they, they become kind of lazy and um, yeah. so, but I always think, you know, go back to the fundamentals, review the fundamentals, let's go through all the scales, you know, just as, as a daily thing, just to kind of, um, so they don't forget that. Because it's not going to go away. No. <laughs> yes. I, I told her to get me something like I'm going to start to learn. 
<laughs> can be something basic. I practice every day, maybe a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So before you leave uh, to school um, and because you don't learn here, I sh I show you. You learn when you're home practicing. Mm, mm -hmm. Right, right. Yeah, you don't learn it so much. Yours, right, yeah. right. So you don't learn so much when you're at the lesson, but it's the the practicing in between the lessons. That's yeah. really where you mm -hmm. learn. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I remember you also gave me organ lessons as well. Yeah. For a little while. Until I had to get rid of my organ. How come? Because. I was storing that extra round pound for somebody. Oh yeah, the other piano. And I didn't okay. have room yeah. for. Mm. Yeah, you have to something had to go. Mm. Okay. And it was having trouble. It was needing some repair. Uh -huh. And uh, so you took it with it. Nobody wanted it, uh, and so I just gave it away. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. And I was still playing organ up until about three years ago. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, okay. Mm -hmm. When two churches emerged and our pastor chose the musicians from the other church um, and let us let me go. Mm -hmm. And we also used to go to the Chinese church in yeah. Oakland with the yeah. handbell. We Where you did the handbells, I remember that. Yes. And you okay. remember, uh, you got a dose. I still have my bells. Uh -huh. Oh. But they still come with bells as they want. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Wow. That was fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We go there every Sunday. And yeah. They have a big dinner. Oh, yeah. Remember? Or lunch. Oh, lunch. <laughs> big lunch. That was my favorite part. <laughs> After, just don't fall down when you're 80 years old. <laughs> <laughs> it messes you up terribly. Yeah, yeah. 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 But you have the walker now, so it's more just, more stable. Just, yeah, just, uh, yeah, but I can't way. go anywhere without somebody right with me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah. To make sure I'm safe. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's important. Yeah. 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 That's why I've got a caregiver mm -hmm. all the time. Yeah. 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 And then your husband kind of watches. Watch it out for yeah, you. Yeah, well. yeah. They watch for dangers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Could get into the fall again. <laughs> get into trouble. <laughs> yeah. Well, the last time I fell, I broke two ribs. Oh. Oh. Right, two ribs. Oh. So they're still healing. Where, where did you fall? Out here. Oh, outside? No, right out in the waiting area. Oh my goodness. I hit that bookcase that was there under the clock. Oh. Yeah. They got me hurt. Yeah, broke, cracked two ribs. Oh wow. So that's what I'm recovering from. Oh. Yeah. 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 No fun. Oh. Oh. Tell me about it. Yeah. 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 And there's things I've learned as a senior that had no idea what I'm, what, that was coming when I got old. Mm -hmm. Such as? Such as remembering people's names from your childhood oh. when you see a picture. Oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder who that was. <laughs> uh -huh. You're not alone. So I Sometimes happened to, to me. write names on things and dates. Mm. Because you won't remember. You won't remember. Uh, like yeah. when you're a senior. Uh, Everything gets muddled together. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. your mind is still very sharp. Yes. Yeah. I do a lot of, of games that require me to think. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I. I not able to drive, of course, anymore, so I'm dependent on my husband for driving now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which was the opposite. He was depending on me to do everything. I will remember uh, when to turn the car, and I, I, I said, I asked you, which exit should I take? You said 12th Street. 
to go Charles Street, turn left. I still remember. <laughs> well, he went to the church across the street from where I was. Yeah. And in Oakland. Yeah. When I was there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is it still there, the church? Uh -uh. The church is still there? No, he, he doesn't go there anymore. He says they're always fighting with each other. Oh. Yeah, disgusted with it. Okay. Too much arguing. Yeah. Just like in a party pit. Yeah. 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 Well, you, yeah. you really impacted a lot of people, including myself. And, you know, I just want to thank you for all of that. And mm -hmm. really kind yeah. of planting the seed, really mm -hmm. giving me a holistic kind of yes. musical education. And, yes, you know, I thank God to every day for big putting me in music. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I should start to learn from her. I should, uh, you know, because yeah. it will help it me. It makes life so much better. Yeah. Oh, it does. Totally, totally. Yes, yes. Yeah. It's really enriching and I just feel like the ears, when you hear something, it's just, it can, and so it moves you on the inside and I've not really had other experiences that have really, you know, Maybe some films do yeah. that, but music, playing music, especially, just, I think it's the playing, and, and it really just is so mm -hmm. good for the soul and the psyche, yeah. and so healing. I feel like, I was trying to get, you know, I have students that are all, you know, different jobs, working different things, and then yes. music, they say that's where they can really, you know, feel like they're connecting with a higher power, or connecting with themselves more, giving to themselves, mm -hmm. you know, um, Kind of resetting their own energy it feels like music kind of is just like that um that missing link that that kind of makes them feel like they can truly express themselves yeah so thank you it's been a good life <laughs> yeah. yeah very very yeah. fulfilling and enriching and just the impact that you've had on all these students too you know oh yes and i still hear from some of them mm -hmm. yeah I got the card from Lily's uh, family mm. this week with all the pictures of the family. Aww. Such a wonderful yeah. thing. Yeah. 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 Nikki, you wouldn't believe how big he is now. Nikki was so small when, uh -huh. when Lily first started piano with me. <laughs> yeah, it's wonderful to watch you know students grow. You know, and yeah. you start them. They're they're. You know, I've had a few three-year-olds. Well, look at this, this big one. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Starting when I was six. She gets me up at 7 o'clock in the morning so I can meet her at 9 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. Yeah. It was a rush a little bit. Oh. Trying to get all everything in this morning. <laughs> oh, yeah. but, it, but it all came together. Yeah. Yes, so. well... Such as I still some things to take mm -hmm. at certain times. And, mm -hmm. Yeah, we got it all done. <laughs> it was a push this morning. Yeah, yeah. I bet. Yes. So, yeah. yeah. Yes. Anything else? Then that's it. And then anything else? else that play music for her? Well, I guarantee if we you get the original pace back in mm -hmm. the stores, they would be well sold. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Because mm -hmm. people are looking for them. Right, oh, they're both. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They heard about it, but they you can't buy it in the stores anymore. Right, right. The way the music selling thing is mm -hmm. going is very hard for people to find what they need. Right, mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the authors are Robert Pace. Mm -hmm. I still have most of the books. Um, there's still a few missing from mm -hmm. my collection. You gave me a bunch of yes that really helped. But I'm thinking of kind of creating a method book that kind of can bring back a lot of his teachings. You know, and how can I make it so it's more um, accessible by more people? You know, because nowadays. Everyone wants everything so easily. They yes. want it, you know. They want it online. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's like, how can you get them to learn all the different keys and sight reading, yeah. sight singing, yeah. key signatures? There's nothing like the one to one or the one to pairs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's a really. I, I need to do that more. But yeah, scheduling is always the tricky part. Mm -hmm. Scheduling. So. And the traffic slows people down. Mm -hmm. right. your data is available too. Ah, oh, right. Yeah. So we've got to find me a partner and we'll learn fast. <laughs> yeah? Piano, piano partner. Yeah. So. Okay. My room looks different with only one piano. Yeah, actually, I want to I want to show um, the whole room because this is this is just where we used to have the pianos over here, and then these are the blackboards. I'm going to get a few objects. And so yeah, so thank you so much, Mrs. Vaughn, for everything. You're very welcome. And yeah, it's uh, my teaching style has been greatly influenced because of your yes your um, imparting your knowledge on me when I was young. So uh -huh. yeah, I, I definitely want to uphold the Robert Pace kind of you know bringing the music theory into the um, uh -huh. the whole uh, experience. So all right, thank you very much. <laughs>
So we can have a practice maybe. Oh, I enjoyed it. Yeah. So. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you made yeah. my day. Yay! Yeah. 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 Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.